Hi everyone, welcome back to my final video uh, using the April Kitaholic kit and I am doing a project life layout for you today. I, As I did last time, I did a project life layout using uh, this particular kit. I'm using the packaging from the stencils because I just can't get over how beautiful it is. And I'm using that uh, the chipboard sticker sheet, this chipboard sheet, and I'm sticking it on that confetti paper, which I pre-cut. It's too difficult for me to choose journaling cards while I'm on camera because it stresses me out. So usually you'll see me having already chosen my journaling cards by the time the video starts. Uh, then I'm taking this beautiful gold alpha, which I am hoarding now that I've finished using it for these, uh, these projects. And I am going to put that on the top photo, but you can see that it gets lost a little bit. So uh, stay tuned to find out in about three minutes how I fix that problem. Um, I, yeah, so once that's done, once I'm happy with that, I am going to work on the bottom card. I wanted some journaling and I needed a fair bit of journaling. So I'm using a sideways three by four card and I'm sticking that down the bottom and cutting that out. So I've got a decent amount of journaling sp space. I'm using that bloom chipboard piece as the jumping off point um, to, to write a story about how I am blooming creatively and I'm talking about going to do a in alcohol ink lesson with my friend. So that's how bloom ties into it all. Uh, I glued that bloom down with glue rather than using the sticky back on it. I actually tore the sticky back off so that it is a bit more secure. Now I'm taking uh, some vellum paper, cutting a strip down and I'm going to use some vellum tape runner which is that green thing over there and I'm going to stick that down now that's supposed to not show through vellum but it absolutely does um, so I am glad that I covered up I, I, I'm covering it up essentially with the letters uh, once that's down I thought I had lifted it off and put these alphas down too much so I am going to take them to my sewing machine and stitch them down. And that is how that looks. Moving on, I also added uh, just a little label for my stash to that particular card so I can do some journaling. I'm taking three uh, tiny word stickers which came in the sticker book and I'm sticking them down. Uh, the second one I stick down lower because it's the same font as the one on the top and I didn't want them to have the two fonts next to each other, just so you know. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to add the two hearts on the side, staple them on for a little bit of interest and do some journaling about my sister-in-law's surprise birthday party. Uh, so that one is done. I am going to work on the card showing the, oh, the card with my sister-in-law and my daughter and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, that little clear sticker of a cake because it's a birthday party stick it on uh, some scrap paper um, which is actually the paper that was between the puffy stickers um, so I'm not letting anything goes go to waste and I'm going to fussy cut that out and stick that on the TV in the background which I didn't like I didn't love having the TV in the background so I'm going to put that on the TV in the background and I'm going to also take this little bow and stick it down the bottom of the cake and that card is done now moving on to the teapot card so this is a picture of the actual teapot that we made uh, but there's a lot of space that I didn't need so I can cut pretty much most of that off and just make a tiny little square I am going to use that three by four card which is again the packaging from the kit and I am going to mostly cover that up but uh, first of all, I'm going to stick that label down, then I'm going to add the photo, use my tiny attacher uh, and oh yeah, spell out fun because I've already done the journaling about that so I didn't feel like I needed to do it again. Repeating that little bow element and that card is done. I am taking a label that we got from the digital downloads and writing that again on it because that's what my daughter says when my husband throws her up in the air. And now moving on to the top card. I am taking this scrapbook.com um, paper and because it was the perfect color to match in with a lot of what was already in the kit. And I'm gonna create like a banner 
a layered banner across the top. I'm going to stick that down because that's shorter than a than six inches. I'm going to fill it out using some of the torn off bits that I had. So you really can't tell in the end because I've got the vellum that goes over that as well. So I am going to put a strip of vellum over that. I'm going to tape that down and then I'm going to take the beautiful uh, golden lovely uh, word. Not, it's not lovely in that. It looks lovely in that. It says lovely. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take that and I'm going to stick that on and I'm going to go back to my sewing machine because that's my favorite thing in the world right now. And I'm going to do some stitching on there. So that's what I was talking about. That lovely there. I was going to use that card for journaling, but then I really just didn't need any, need it. So yeah, all good. Uh, I also added some journaling to the bottom card uh, off screen. And then I'm going to add these little golden little love hearts to finish that one off. And that is the layout done. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good week and I'll see you next time. Bye.